Hey there, I'm Brittany Schroeder and business and marketing are my jam. I'm here to walk you step-by-step through this crazy thing we call business. I'm a small town girl, chocolate eating, Diet Coke drinking mom, marketing guru, automation Jedi, and all around good time. This is your weekly dose of all things business and life sprinkled with some fun. This is the Redefined Business Podcast. Welcome to another episode of Redefine Business Podcast. Today's guest, I am excited to chat with her. She has so many good little nuggets to share, but welcome Polly Payne, the president founder of Horatio Printing. Welcome, Polly. Yay. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, I am excited. So I found Polly, I have one of my good friends and um, she was one of my clients was we were doing a, a, I think we were doing a podcast because she had just released a planner and she was telling me like, oh, you have to listen to this Polly Payne. You have to follow her. You have to, she's like awesome. She talks all about printing and all of the things. And so that's kind of how I stumbled across Polly. And so immediately I, I reached out to her and said, I need to have my podcast. So Polly, tell my listeners just a little bit about yourself and what you do and all of the things. Yeah. So I'm a mom of two beautiful little kiddos. I am a Christian. I'm the founder of Horatio Printing. And I started Horatio Printing when I was living in New York on Horatio Street. Horatio in Latin means timekeeper. Um, So I was like, that's good enough. I wanted to pick a name. I was moving quick when I had to start my business. And um, Yeah. So I started my company in August of 2014. I'm originally from Alabama, moved up to the big city to kind of really just to do a summer internship, ended up staying. um, And six years into my New York journey is when I um, started this dream. And I just had this fire in my heart. I had this, um, I guess, itch to create something. And I just felt like there was something more. My career was going really well at the time. Um, you know, I was a senior sales director for an ad tech company. I was really good with people. And like I could, you know, I enjoyed going to meetings and presenting things, but I think deep down, I just kind of had this itch of like, I want to make something for myself. I just didn't know what. And so the itch was kind of gnawing at me for a few years. I fooled around with a, um, an iPhone app concept. I started building that out. That didn't pan out because someone else came out with it. And I just felt like it wasn't the right thing for me to put out anyway. And then I really had the dream to make a planner. Um, I have always been forgetful. I've always been a planner girl since like sixth grade when they gave us a free planner at school. And it was like, this is magical. (laughs) Like I was that kid at the end of the year with with still with the planner, like putting stuff in because I would forget if I didn't write it down. But um, the dream to make this particular planner came when um, a really special pastor came to my church. His name is Erwin McManus, and he was doing a book tour for his book, The Artisan Soul. And if you need a good jolt of creativity, I really recommend this book. It's the concept that deep down, we're all artists. We all have this artisan soul in us. And our life is our canvas and what we create with our time and our focus and our energy. We're all these craftsmen of what we're building, whether we like it or not, you know, whether it's something we are enjoying or not. And it's so true. Like what we spend our time on, what we're distracted by, what we focus on grows. And so um, one of the things in the book, I was up one night in August of 2014, one of the things in the book said, um, create a list of all your distractions that you need to stop doing, build an exit strategy and execute it. And I was like, let's go. Okay. So I got a journal out and I like did a um, bubble chart of all the things in my life, you know? And one of the things I wrote was schmoozing clients. Cause that was like one of my things was just taking people out, which New York was the best place to do that. <clears throat> and I felt like God just dropped it in my heart that, I gave you that talent for ministry. Like Mm -hmm. your gift with people has always been for kingdom work. And I was like, what? And then I decided in that moment, I've got to get my life together. Like I've got to get serious. I'm going to make a planner. I'm going to make it unapologetically Christian and I'm going to make it stunning. Like I want it to be the best. And um, I've always appreciated churches that 
take a lot of time with excellence. Um, I know some people are like, oh, I don't like all the lights and the whatever. And that's fine. Like teach their own. But I've always appreciated when churches bring their best. And so um, that also kind of inspired me at the time. But there's something about like when things are Christian, people kind of get a hall pass for it being subpar. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I saw this movie, this Christian movie. And they're like, was it good? And you're like, oh, it was good. It was good. It was Christian. Yeah. The <laughs> message was good. The message was good. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's like, <clears throat> I, I think if something's Christian, it should be phenomenal. You know, like it should be even better than anything secular. And so I just really wanted the best materials. I wanted the best quality. And I tried my best that first year. Um, I spent a lot of money, used a really expensive printer and I bought a thousand planners and by the grace of God, they sold and I kept going and I kept my day job. Um, So I had this little business as a side hustle for a year and a half. And then eventually it grew to where I could leave my job and um, ended up getting married about, I guess, about six months after starting my company. So it was a lot of transition at once. Mm-hmm. That is a um, lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still making stuff. Um, the One of the blessings that's come out of this after years of doing this, we're about to hit our 10th year um, anniversary in October And one of the big blessings is over the years, people have asked me, Hey, I want to do that. I want to do what you're doing. I want to make something. I want to make a devotional. I want to make a journal. Like who's your printer? How do you do it? Can I borrow your designer? (laughs) And, um, so in 2022, I finally, um, pulled the trigger and created a signature program called print school. I was really hesitant to do it, to be honest, because there were so many blood, sweat, and tears that went into me making Horatio and making it profitable and successful and growing Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, God had a lot to do with it. He breathed on the business, definitely. But there were so many like heartaches and painful moments and huge mistakes that I made. And there's no one out there really telling all of their trade secrets. And I finally just swallowed my pride and decided I'm just going to share it all, like all of it. And so I built um, Print School 1.0. And then last October, I released Print School 2.0, which comes with two courses. It comes with Print School and Launch School. So you get both and it helps you create. You graduate from that, you have your thing, you have your sample, and then you move into Launch School, which is its own other beast of launching, website, pre-order campaign to raise the money, to fund the print. Um, and then growing your business. And so I teach everything I've learned over the last 10 years kind of condensed into that course. Yeah. Well, you kind of touched about it, but I want to go back to it is what, what were you hesitant about? You said, oh, I was hesitant to teach people. Like what, like, what was your thought process there? I think it's natural to like, not want to be copied, you know, yeah. like the, uh, scarcity of like, oh my gosh, if I create all this competition, yeah, what's going to happen to my business? Um, and early on in my company, I was copied. I had a um, mutual friend reach out and say, Hey, I'm making a planner for people. It was a very different audience than mine. It was not mm-hmm. a faith-based audience. And I said, yeah, I'll, you know, give you some ideas. I gave her my printer name. I shared some information and then she launched her product on a Kickstarter And it did like a hundred K Kickstarter. And that at the time was bigger than any of my Mm -hmm. launch days. I'd never had a hundred K launch day and her design was mine. It was the same weekly layout. Mm -hmm. (laughs) My husband was like, well, there's not that many weekly layouts. Like, I mean, it's a calendar. And I was like, no, no, no. Like I spent hours designing this with a designer to be unique. And um, it was like the same font and everything. And I was just really upset. Yeah. Um, God was really kind in that moment though, because literally the day it happened, somebody mailed me, actually it was my old, um, the, the guy I'd worked for, who was an incredible Christian man. He said, God put it on my heart to mail you this book. Wow. And he mailed me this book and it was about being rooted in the Lord. And it arrived that day that the Kickstarter went live and it was like exactly what I needed to like stay in my lane, trust God, you know? Um, but in that moment I decided yeah. I am never sharing this information yeah. again. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to go through this pain. Um, but what's been really nice is God, like it's kind of removed so much from me and opened me up in such a beautiful way. And the reward that is, 
seeing these little, I call them like grandbaby products, you know, yeah, like yeah. Brittany's product, for example, like, I feel like that's like my prized grandchild product. Um, cause Horatio was kind of my first baby. Um, it's so rewarding, like to see the ripple effects. So we have one student, Brittany, Bethany Kimsey, who's made a Warrior Mama prayer journal that's just phenomenal. And she's sold over a thousand copies now. And these moms are seeing so much power through intentionally praying scripture over their children day after day. And it's just, it's such a no brainer now for me to be into this and having more impact through teaching other people to make impact. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It makes me think of, you know, I, early on in my career, I was, I was a photographer and, you know, I was a young mom and I remember like the industry being very competitive, like, oh, I'm not going to tell you how I edited this picture. And, you know, it was a very, very much like that. And I was like, so lucky because I was blessed with like two really great mentors and they did not have that attitude. You know, they shared so openly with me and I'm like, so grateful for that. And I think I learned early on in, in my, like my life and in any of my business or career, like I can teach you everything that I know how to do. I can teach you the tips, the secrets, everything. You will never be me. And that is, that's what's unique about me is you will never be me. And so, but I think having like that mindset of like scarcity and abundance, like it it really is something you have, you do have to work through because we work hard. We work hard for the things that we do and, you know, all the systems and processes, like we have to fail so many times to succeed, you know, but I also think too, I I love this because like you said, like it opened, it opened it up for you to like receive more like abundance and more, you know, like business and everything. But I think that's just something that is so good to like, remember is like when we are serving, I've had to have like mindset shifts where I'm like, okay, if you will serve, you will, you know, if you give, you receive like, and I truly believe that, but it, it's hard. And I, and for some reason it's hard with women. I do not know why, but, um, but when we have that, like, you know, rising tides lifts all ships or all boats, whatever, we have to have that mindset. And I have seen that in my business come back like tenfold when, when we kind of have like that mindset, one of the things that I love is, you know, I'm, I'm a business and marketing coach. And I always say like, there's people who have done it and been successful and they teach. And then there's people who have done it and failed and they teach. And you want to find somebody who's done it and succeeded that will teach you the ways. And I think that, you know, I always say that just find somebody who's done it. it, you know, it's worth the investment. And, and I'll, I'll hype your course up because my friend did it. And she said, she said, what I learned alone, like I saved in like in, in, in my spending. She's like, I, I saved 10 times what the course cost by just learning. And I think that's just like a testament to you. And she did say, she, I'm totally hyping you up, girl. She said, that she, <laughs> but she was like, no, she just said that she shares. She's so generous with all of her knowledge. And I think that's like such a good, like, you know, such a good testament to you that, you know, cause I think that that is like a sign of a really good teacher when you are like, here, I will give you, I'm going to show you how I failed. This is how you do it. And it just goes to show like that it's, it's, it really, it, it's really like gives you an advantage when you invest in somebody and, and learn like the right way, you know, you can do it the, the hard and long way, but when you invest, like you get a return on that. So I, I love that. I love that. So, yeah, it's been so fun to watch the success stories pouring out too. Like, I'm just so amazed and God is so good. And I think it's become easier and easier to just release. Like, it's just been like a freedom almost of just releasing it and trusting him. And he's yeah. proven trustworthy over and over to where it's like, it just feels really obvious. It was like scary at first, but now yeah. it's just solid. I've been wrestling with this like vision that beliefs are kind of like a table and you have like a belief, like for example, God is trustworthy. And at first you get this belief and it's basically a Frisbee. Like imagine a little tabletop and someone hands it to you like, Hey, God's trustworthy. And you're like, this is just a Frisbee. Like I don't have any table legs yet. any any testimony yet. I don't have any proof and reasoning other than you telling me God is trustworthy. And I think over these years, he's just proven himself so many times with his graciousness and with his miracles 
that it's like now my my table of God being trustworthy, it feels like a rock. You know, it's like yeah, a yeah. like a cement table now. And it's just like it's just so much easier to trust him with the release because now my number one goal is their success. Like I'm not gonna hold anything back if I think it's gonna help you save money and sell more products, make more impact, you know, and make something really stunning. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about for my listeners. Tell us a little bit about the products that people are creating in your course. Is it a lot of planners and stuff like that? Or is it other products? All sorts. So a lot of people do come in for a planner. So we have a ton of people making their 2025 planner now. Usually people start ordering their samples in April and May. So April's like the good month to order your sample, which is like, you know, TikTok. Um, because it does take a while to get everything produced. So and then marketed and all of that. So we have people making planners, some dated, some undated. We have people making prayer journals. We have a fertility planner, a travel journal, um, cancer warrior planner, um, grief journals. We have a lot of different styles of grief journals, whether that's a child or general or pregnancy loss. Um, So many cool things, legacy recipe books. I mean, just so many different stuff, but most of it falls within like journal devotional Bible study or planner type thing or a hybrid. Yeah. You know, whether that's like, oh, I want to have, um, there's all sorts. I mean, really it's, it's like a full spectrum. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Polly tell, this has been like, so good. Tell me, tell my listeners how they can find you or how they can work with you if they're interested in learning more. Yeah. So my planner company and my product company is Horatio Printing. That's H-O-R-A-C-I-O printing.com. You can go there, hang out, grab a planner, grab a devotional. We have soap Bible studies that are a fantastic way to get started. Um, they're super fun. It's like a choose your own adventure through the Bible based on your season of life. And then if you're interested and you have the itch to create something of your own, you can go to dreamprinting.co where I can help you print your dream. And I have a free workshop there. If you want to watch a workshop where I teach the dream printing method, the four pillars of how to go from an idea to a product in your hand that you love. Um, And that workshop is dreamprinting.co slash workshop. And we'll put that in the show notes for sure. Well, this has been so good. Polly, I like to end all of my podcasts with asking my guests two questions. Yay. So, okay. So the first one is, it's the first one is what is a pet peeve? And then the second one is what is a simple pleasure? So first of all, what is a pet peeve? Okay. This one's simple, super thin paper where <laughs> your pen bleeds through. You know, you're a printing company when that is your pet peeve. There you go. Okay. okay what is a simple pleasure? Um, simple pleasure is right now, like a long, hot shower. Mm, That's a good one. That is a good one. I probably do that twice a day. (laughs) Yeah, that is a good one. That is a good one. Well, Polly, thank you so much. This was so good. I'm, I'm actually like, I, I, maybe everybody says this, but I'm like, I want to do a planner. I've been saying it for years. And so you've like inspired me. Like, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. So thank you so much. You're so welcome. So fun to be here. Thanks for having me. Let's not stop the party here. Head on over to my Instagram or Facebook group, Redefine Your Business, and let me know your thoughts about today's show. I will see you again, same time, same place, next week.